Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. As you can see, here I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max here on my left, the newly released Red Magic 7 Pro here in the middle, and the S22 Ultra here on the far right. In this video, I'll be conducting a series of back-to-back -back benchmarks to test the performance of each of these devices. We're going to see just how much of a gap there is between the Red Magic 7 Pro and these premium phones. As you all know, this is a gaming phone and comes equipped with a built-in 20K RPM turbo fan. I'll be conducting these tests using this fan and thus, in fairness, I'll have to have the devices elevated to make sure I don't block the back air intake on the Red Magic 7 Pro. With all of this being said, as you can see, we will start our benchmarks with Geekbench 5 to specifically test the CPU. And here we go. Now, when looking at these results, as expected, the iPhone comes in first as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip housed in both the Red Magic and S22 Ultra didn't really change much over its predecessor, the Snapdragon 888, from last year. Qualcomm seemed to focus more on the GPU performance, which we will soon test. Nevertheless, I must note, even after housing the same chip, the Red Magic 7 Pro has a decent increased performance improvement in multi-core scores over the S22 Ultra. I think already we are seeing the benefits of that built-in turbo fan. Nevertheless, for this next test, we will be testing the GPU performance, but specifically in gaming. Therefore, I will be using 3DMark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, as this benchmark emulates a heavy graphical 4K resolution game for 20 minutes. And here we go. Now, when looking at these results, I am utterly impressed. This is absolutely insane. The Red Magic 7 Pro maintained a 99% stability and practically managed to keep the same level of performance for both sustained and peak performance. Thus, the Red Magic 7 Pro comes in first in this test. Now for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, this device comes in second with initially extremely higher peak performance over the Red Magic. However, due to that limited cooling option, the device throttles and sustained performance drops exactly 10% lower than the Red Magic 7 Pro. The S22 Ultra, on the other hand, is about 40 to 50% behind both of these devices when looking at sustained performance or the lowest loop scores. Sustained performance is more important than peak as no one is playing a game for only a minute or two. Anyways, moving on to the last benchmark, I'll be doing a regular short GPU test focusing purely on peak performance using one of the most popular benchmarks, Manhattan 3.1 off-screen test. And here we go. Now we're looking at these results, the iPhone comes on top, scoring 180 FPS, while both the Red Magic and the S22 Ultra comes not too far behind. Again, as I said before, sustained performance is more important than peak performance, especially for gamers or video editors. Therefore, the last test is a great depiction of the gap in GPU performance between these three devices. As for this test, this focuses more on peak GPU performance. Thus, when doing short GPU-related tasks, the iPhone will slightly edge out the Red Magic 7 Pro, but again, not by much. In conclusion, I'm truly impressed with the Red Magic 7 Pro. I was quite shocked to see it manage a 99% stability with the highest lowest loop score on the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. Therefore, without a doubt, the Red Magic 7 Pro is definitely superior in gaming or long graphical work versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the S22 Ultra. The Red Magic 7 Pro is officially the gaming king. As for peak GPU and overall CPU performance, the iPhone still remains on top. Nevertheless, hopefully this video was informative. I can't wait to do some real FPS tests and witness this amazing GPU performance in the Red Magic 7 Pro. With that being said, please stay tuned and see you all next time.